Oh, oh yeah. nice. Oh awesome. boy. It's a good fish too. Come on fishing with Latin and you'll have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in central Washington. We have a beautiful day here in June. We're going after some big Lahont and cutthroat. Stick around. I think it'll be a fantastic show. This lake was located in a beautiful canyon. We're fishing with coronamids under an indicator, uh, mostly because we, we saw fish when we came out here on the depth finder, about 13 feet of water. I've seen several fish, so I know I can get this down uh, to the right depth and, and see if they'll bite coronamids. There's one. All right. Cool. Steve was into the first fish of the day. Just needed to get down to the right depth, I think. Now I was, I was seeing the fish around, you know, in 13 feet of water towards the bottom. So um, when I first put it out there, I don't think I had a deep enough down. And we've got a long leader on here now because we're going down 12 feet. That's pretty sweet. Just want to see which fly you hit. It's a good fighter. He's digging down, man. Steve grabbed the net and prepared to land the fish. Nice little hunting. Very nice. Yeah, probably about 13 inches, something like that. Cool. This is a nice Lahontan, Lahontan cutthroat, probably about 14 inches maybe, something like that. They have a beautiful coloration to them. First fish of the day here in central Washington. Found a really nice uh, spot where we're seeing fish on the depth finder, about 13 feet of water. And uh, start off with coronamids just to give it a try and, and uh, within a couple minutes had to first fish it. I was enjoying the scenery, but also keeping an eye on my indicator. Got nice. it. Nice. Awesome. Yep, I see them. Looks decent. Good. Wow. Way to be awake, way to be focused. Yeah. I'm not really known for my focus. I can see them just hovering down there. All right. Ah, don't go that way, <laughs> yeah. buddy. Away from the anchor. Yep. Oh yeah, look at them, jeez. I mean, <laughs> it looks pretty big to me. Awesome. Pick a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a big, nice big fish. Cool. Oh man, this is a gorgeous big. Hunting. I mean, look at that guy. That is a nice fish for sure. There she goes. Yeah, that was fun. A heck of a fight. Beautiful fish. This wave action's really good for chronomids. It's not great for fishing, not great for filming, but I'm telling you, uh, for the chronomids, this wave action takes those chronomids and moves them up and down, and the fish seem to really like it. The setup we're using today is just a, a double nymph rig and the top fly is a snow cone chronomid and the bottom fly is a red blood worm. It seems to be working so far. We've been seeing some fish right in this cliffy area right here. I mean you could just literally see them in the water swimming around. So Steve's putting on a damsel fly and he's going to cast some damsel fly nymphs right in this area. Whew, there's a big rise right there. This doesn't seem like it's really too, oh, there's one. All right. Yeah. Woo, nice. Yes, got one. Whew, 
That's pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Coming at me. All right, trolling the Olive Willy. Well, it's good to know that Olive Willy will work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it casts it around quite a bit. Loosen my drag a little. There he goes. Oh, there he is. Good one? Digging down, yeah. Definitely a good one. Ooh, nice. It's <laughs> cool. Good fish. All right. Good fish. Get this guy in. Yeah. There we go. Nice thing not having the anchor up, you know. Yeah. Woo. Nice. It's <laughs> cool. Nice little hunt and cutthroat, that's pretty cool. On the Olive Willie. All right, this is a beautiful Lahant and Cutthroat. The biggest one for me today. Uh, it's probably, what, 18 inches, something like that. Maybe close to three pounds, something. There he goes. Nice. Pretty cool, yeah. We saw these, uh, the, we talked to a couple guys that were fishing with damselfly nymphs, and we've seen them hatching. We just haven't been able to catch them with the damsels. Finally, with an olive willy and uh, trolling along this cliff close to shore, finally hooked up with one. That was a really nice trout. This is a fly I caught that fish on. It's called an olive willy, and it's an imitation for a damselfly nymph. And uh, they've been hatching in here, so we put it on, caught that fish. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Oh, boy. Awesome. It's a good fish, too. Awesome. Oh, boy. Mm, boy, it's a big one. Wow. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ah. Oh, got it in the net. Nice. Big, big cutthroat. Awesome. Big Lahontan. Awesome. Wow. Man, what a beautiful fish this is. Wow, gorgeous. That is a big, mm -hmm. big, beautiful Mahant and cutthroat. Wow. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show. We had a great time. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.